Nobody cares. Nobody. You do your best. You try your hardest. And they step on you. I just asked to be here. <laughs> they put me here. I don't understand it. My education background. Why? It is fair. What are you doing? Putting some sugar in my coffee. That's not just sugar. That's my doghouse. Can't you see I'm building a little estate? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but I need sugar in my coffee. And these people need a place for their dog to live. Can you two stop? I can't stand yelling! She stole my doghouse! I put it in my coffee! Mm. Will you stop this foolishness? You just destroyed my wish! Oh, what did I Did you realize that you do three hours of this? Well, you can't do it! Beat the little guy, Mo. You want to play him? Please, I'm talking to my partner. Lou, you know this is the height of the footwear season. Look, we gotta have at least two dozen pair of patent leather. Don't fight with me. Listen to me, Lou. A promise is a promise. Yeah, call me back. I'll be here till 10 o'clock. Lou, everybody leaves at 5. I gotta leave at 10. Goodbye. What a yutz. Hiya, you, Mo. How's business? How's business? The competition is killing me. I can't get decent people to work for me. My partner is robbing me blind. I can't complain. Well, I got a little something here that might cheer you up. A picture of my partner, dead. No. Some pretty young lady. Oh? Two bucks each. Good pictures, huh? Mmm, nice shoes. <laughs> What are you fellas looking at? Nothing, kid. Pictures of shoes with naked ladies standing in them. Oh, let me see. <laughs> Reminds me of the good times we used to have back home in the tool shed. <laughs> you had girls like that in the tool shed? No, I had pictures like this in the tool shed. <laughs> Gatto, why are we using five times as many tranquilizers as any other state institution? Well, I don't know why Julio Stumdock, but as for me, I'm not a happy man. <laughs> you disgust me. I disgust myself. <laughs> don't pull yourself together. Shemel. Yes, sir. All right, men. First, you'll have consultation with Dr. Schimmel and all good. And after that, General Therapy. Breaking leave. You call that general therapy. I call it working for bupkis. Count me out. I gotta stay by the telephone. It's the height of the footwear season. It's also the height of the raking season, and you'll do what you're told. You see, everybody picks on me because I'm Jewish. Oi, how do they ever find out I'm Jewish? Move it! Wow. I'm moving, I'm moving. Come here. What's this? Your finger. <laughs> Get in there. I'm glad they canceled Tony Orlando. It's very simple. What we have here are five laboratory-trained thoroughbreds. It's just like horse racing. The first one to get to the end of the maze is the winner, and so is the man who bets on it. All right, gentlemen, place your bets. Two dollars are not for the laughing. But, Logan, there are only five rats. Oh, that's all right. I never win anyway. <laughs> Tell them I'll bet $1.65 on the horse with the long whiskers. $1.65 on whiskers. 
Hey, man, can a poor civil servant get in on this action? <laughs> sure, Gato, we'll take your quarters. All right. Give me 900 on number three. Where'd you get that kind of money? I don't remember. <laughs> All right. The rats are at the post. All right. They're off. Come on, number 11. Come on, 11. Come on, 11. Come on, 11. There are the rats, and there are the rats that took the rats! I lived in the house that Jack built. <laughs> That's me up. This is your doing, Flynn. I score whiskers, take five. <laughs> Come on, my little friends. Don't worry. Daddy's here. Animals! <laughs> Mr. Flynn, I want you to know that I recommended you not be released. I still feel you're deeply disturbed. Thank you. <laughs> Would you both excuse me for one moment? What's going on? I don't know. I, he's probably going to do his Superman impression again. Here, here. Are you all right? Do you want some water? Beer. Beer. You tried to kill yourself. What are you, crazy? Yeah, yeah I guess so, Doc. I would say this proves that conclusively. Now, wait a minute. This will not necessarily affect my decision. Dr. Folder, do you mean to say that you still intend to recommend the release of a man who just attempted suicide? I... I'm not sure. Hello, Lou. Yeah. It's for you, Doctor. Dr. Folder here. 